So here's another one, right? We, we, I wonder how many people on the call have gone and Googled themselves. Like, I don't do it often, but I have Google alerts set up for my name, so if something gets written about me, I'm going to know about it. But um, how important is it for agents to, to manage their digital footprint? You know, a fantastic question, Bob, fantastic question, because I think that many people in our industry approach the answer from, unfortunately, 180 degrees the wrong point of view. Okay. When, when you ask people and you say, do you Google yourself, it's almost like this, well, you know, I'm not that arrogant. I don't do that. You know? <laughs> right. I, I don't want to look at myself because, you know, so it's nothing to do with arrogance, my dear friends. It, it's not that you're blowing up your trumpet here it's your, or blowing your horn. It's not that you're trying to, to make yourself look bigger than you are. You are looking through a window of life, whether it's Google or Wikipedia or Google, any one of those situations. You're looking through a window into how you look like to other people. I don't think that I have attended a meeting or a webinar. I mean, yesterday I was in Houston with a big title company. Today I'm talking to you. Last week I was at an event speaking to Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, the week before that I was uh, at the Keller Williams conference. Next week I'm flying up to do one of the associations in one of the other regions. Before I go to any one of those events, I will absolutely, most certainly Google you. I will go find out what does Active Rain say about you. I will see if NIR says something about you. I will look at your personal page. I will look at your LinkedIn page. If you might have a Wikipedia page, I will look at your Wikipedia page. And I will take that 5 to 10 to 15 minutes to quickly page through the important stuff. Because I know that in Wikipedia the information is going to be very current because most likely you update that page yourself. I will look at your Facebook to see how do you act in social life? How does your family look like? How many friends do you have? Do you actually talk? I will go see if you have a Twitter to see when was the last time you tweeted. Are you active or are you not active? I will go look at Wikipedia because I know if you happen to have a profile there, it has been cleansed and cleaned so many times that probably there's no fluff in there. I will go look at your website and I will go look at Alexa to go see what the traffic is to your website to see if any of the statistics you're telling me about your website is even remotely true. <laughs> <laughs> Even if Alexa has discounted numbers or old numbers, I will still look at it because it gives me a kind of indication. There are many parameters. I will look at your social mention score. I will go look at your cloud score. None of them are exact. None of them are perfect. None of them are good. But they are a better filter than nothing. And, if and, and taken as a collective, Stefan, I mean, they give you a pretty good sense of who somebody oh, is, right? You bet. You bet. Better than we knew about people 10 or 20 years ago. Now, remember, when I reach out to you, Bob, and you and I connect, as you said, we had a 20-minute discussion even before this call started, and you and I have shared maybe a half a dozen emails just in the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I went and did a cloud score on you, when I went and looked at your active rain page, it's not that that was the sole determiner of my relationship with you but it is a significant and influential one. And we should all, as real estate professionals, make sure that the image which you are sending out, whether you created it, or whether a realtor rating created it, or Yelp created it, or somebody else put it up. I mean, if you ever spoke at an NAR convention, your bio is most likely online. Whether you put it or not, their NAR most likely put it up for you. Right. So go check it out, go see what it is. Now, don't get upset if you don't like what's online. I mean, I have something like, I don't know, 46,000 pages that currently have details about me. You can't police it all. You can't control it all. But when you read my stuff, you will get a general sense of who I am, and you will see the consistency in my messaging, and you will realize that this is the person you're dealing with. I'm sure in the tech report, like in this particular chapter, you guys dive into this stuff. But for all you guys on the call, like what I would say, just at a baseline on getting started on this, Google your name and look at at least the first 10, like that first page. What's on that first page? And then how many of those pages do you control? Right? So like if it's your Twitter and your Facebook, you control those things. If it's Yelp, you don't control that, but you might darn well want to get in there and see if anybody's reviewed you on Yelp. Right? So just take a look at that first page of Google and see how much of that stuff can I control so that when, because your clients are absolutely Googling you. Okay? If they end up on your website and they become a lead and you're reaching out to them with drip emails and you're trying to get them on the phone, they're Googling you. Make no mistake about it. So here's a good example. I've just done it while we were talking. I just put my first name and my last name so that we don't get any hybrids. And I put it in parentheses on Google so that it must be an exact match. And there are 53,000 hits on my name, exact spelling, correct spelling, no misspelling, in parentheses. The first one is Wikipedia. I don't control that. The second one is my site. The third one is my site. The fourth one is Twitter. The fifth one is my site. The sixth one is LinkedIn. 
The seventh one is Facebook. The eighth one is Amazon.com. The ninth one is YouTube. And the tenth one is Active Rain. So there you go. I mean, and, and you, like, if anybody was to look at all ten of those, they would have a really darn good idea who Stefan Swanepoel is. <laughs> The information on the, I mean, I know all those 10 sites, and I have visited all those 10 sites at least once in the last 30 days. And, and I would say, although it's not always my words, I mean, Wikipedia phrases it in a different way than I would have liked to phrase it because it was written by somebody else, but the information is fundamentally accurate.